Hi there, my name is Don Boudreaux. I'm a professor of economics at George Mason University and a senior fellow at George Mason's Mercatus Center. And I'm here today to talk about Adam Smith and his views on trade and the economy. So let's get started. Yes, I do, and 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 for reasons that I gave in 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 an earlier remark, um, economics is is a is the study of society. It's an, or, or it is an aspect of the study of society, and it's not about numbers, it's not about business, it's not about money. One of my pet peeves is are, are economics books that have dollar signs on them. It gives the wrong impression about what economics is. It's not about money. Finance is a, is a grew out of economics. Finance is a very important discipline. Finance is about money. I have I have nothing against finance. Some of my best friends are finance professors, and I, I I applaud them. I think they do good work. But economics itself is a, a a science of society, and to be a good science of society, you have to study society. Uh, whole. Uh, uh, and you have to study uh, uh, markets, you have to study, uh, both private markets and, 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 and political markets. Um, James Buchanan, one of my great heroes, former colleague of mine, the, the first winner at George Mason of a Nobel Prize in economics, Vernon Smith being the second, both great economists. Uh, Buchanan, one of his most famous essays is a 1960, his 1963 presidential address to the Southern Economic Association entitled, What Should Economists Do? Uh, and he said, well, well, what economists should do is, is, is do what Adam Smith said they should do. And what that is, is study how people exchange, study how people trade. Human beings are unique in that we have these complex trades with each other. No other species trades with each other the way human beings do. Nothing, it, it doesn't come, come close. Uh, that is probably our single most important unique feature as a species. We, 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 we trade. All I do is teach economics. All my physician does is practice medicine. All my grocer does is sell groceries. And yet we can, we all live fabulously wealthy lives because we specialize in them and then we trade. And, and it's, it's business enough to look at the many different ways that people trade. Look at the reasons why they trade. Look at the impediments to trade. Look at what can encourage trade. Trace out how trade, um, uh, uh, trace out the effects that trade, that trade has. Uh, and, and, and stop worrying, said Buchanan about uh, 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 whether or not at the last margin the, the you know some particular resource has been allocated exactly exactly co correctly. You can in that essay that I just mentioned, what should economists do? Um, I, I can tie this. it just occurs, occurs to me to one of my earliest remarks in this conversation. Uh, in, in a way you can't although he didn't put it in this manner. Buchanan was warning economists to get away from thinking like mercantilists. So it, what, it, what had what it, 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 economics had kind of slipped back into gradually and unawares, starting in the 1870s with the marginal revolution, which was which itself is a major, major, uh, 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 and, and wonderful uh, intellectual advance. But through a series of unfortunate steps. Economics had become, by mid 20th century, uh, the sort of the science of allocation. Right? Uh, how are resources allocated? How efficiently are resources allocated? And this was done, this analysis was done as if society were like a big household or a big firm uh, with, with one set of purposes. And so we want to, we want to. This is how economists were thinking in the mid 20th century. All right, so we want to we want to kind of pretend that society has a set of purposes in the same, just like like 
like Matt and Molly each have a set of purposes and Don has a set of purposes. Uh, like the, the, the Boudreaux household has a set of purposes. So we're going to just pretend that the, the society has a set of purposes. Uh, and Buchanan said, that's not true. Society does not have purposes in the way that an individual has purposes. Like a household or a business has purposes. Society is just what, em commercial society, is just what emerges when people, each of whom has purposes, pursues those purposes by exchanging with each other. And you get a very different approach to policy and approach to doing economics when you recognize that you that the that the economy should not be analyzed as or presumed to be uh, something that is meant to to maximize some overall uh, social utility maximize some social welfare function adam smith said mercantilism is bunk that's my summary of it he didn't use that word right mercantilism is nonsense Right? It's nonsense. It's premised on this notion that uh, all economic activity should be uh, directed to and hence judged by how well it promotes the national interest. Nothing much has changed, says Buchanan, if instead of the national interest, you talk about social welfare. Right? There is no such thing as the national interest. There is no such thing as social welfare. And uh, so forget about it. Uh, return to studying exchange and trade and what happens when people exchange and trade. You're not social engineers. Stop trying to be a social engineer uh, because you're, 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 you're doing bad science uh, and you will be led to do destructive policy. Mm -hmm.